We're going to go to citizens' communications. Councilmember Spellman was off the diet. Pardon? You didn't say that Councilmember uh, uh, Spellman was off the diet. Correct the uh, vote six to zero with Councilmember Spellman off the dais. Your watch. Thank you Thank very you. much. Julian Reyes. Topic is Austin dogs. Thank you, Council, Mayor, um, uh, City Manager, all of the people of Austin, all the dog loving people of Austin for uh, letting me speak again today. Um, yes, the topic is on dogs. Um, as you know, my dog, Shinerbach, was gunned down after the non lethal encounters with dog policy uh, by the APD. Uh, here's a story in uh, one of the local newspapers. There's also multiple stories been in the, uh, uh, you know, on TV and everything about multiple dogs that have been shot. The, the issue is, um, it, it continues. It's, it's called puppy side. You guys may, may be familiar with the term. Uh, puppy side has been uh, narrowed down from uh, basically any dog being shot to any dog being shot by police officers in the United States. Every 98 seconds, a dog is shot in the United States, according to the puppy side documentary folks. And um, according to Jim Osario, which is a local state trainer of dogs and ex-police officer, um, and you guys probably know about Jim Osario's training uh, canine encounters out of California, he says that uh, approximately 250,000 dogs are shot in the United States by police officers, and most of it's officer error and that it needs to be dealt with in training. I understand that we have a lot of training in Austin. Um, I just haven't been able to get the uh, open government transparency on that um, from uh, the council and from the APD and from the Animal Advisory uh, Council. Um, so uh, I just wanted, um, uh, just today actually, I spoke to a lady who has a service dog, a homeless lady. Um, her, her dog's name is Mabel, M-A-B-E-L, and uh, the dog was um, drawn down upon by APD officer um, because of some other in, in, uh, uh, investigation of some kid with a BB gun. And her dog was nearby and the officer uh, yelled at the lady and told her to get out of the way. And she said, no, I will not get out of the way because you're about to shoot my dog. And she saved her dog's life. And that was a dog with a service animal vest, a, a plump, older, black lab, not a dangerous dog. So again, we have a problem that we need to deal with, and uh, I'm here to deal with it. Um, if I would like to uh, request that the council engage me and my group, Support for Schinerbach group, and my lawyer to make sure that we, get, um, to, we can find some transparency and open government in the process, find out where the problems are, um, that exist in the training and protocols of, of a hierarchy of lethal force and stop this epidemic. Um, I have some flyers here if you guys would like to contact me. Um, I would appreciate any comments that you guys have. I'll leave it open for you. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Carol Ann Rose Kennedy. Liz Lee, activist lizard. Namaste, y'all. Be safe.